Hi, I'm Kara, and today we're going to talk about what we do before we even begin Pilates. So we're going to do pre-Pilates on the mat, which simply means going through our body and creating a relationship with the parts of the body that we use later on when we're working out with a Pilates workout. So we're going to start lying down on your back, so give yourself some room to settle in. Come lying on your back and settle yourself comfortably on your mat and begin to bring your mind's eye to your spine. Make sure the space around you, the negative space, is equal left, right, up, and down. And as you think about your spine, begin to tuck the tail, letting your lower back melt into the mat, and then let your tail fall toward the floor as your lower back lifts a little. This is a gentle action. It should feel like a rocking back and forth of your pelvis as it connects to your lower spine. Keep this going with a gentle breath. As you curl the tail and lower the tail, your lower spine should move easily. And then begin to exaggerate that action so it moves into your rib cage, your middle spine, your upper spine, and your neck and head. So it's like a wave action from tail to skull. Again, gentle breaths. And then let your spine rest and just feel that your spine is alive now, but quiet. And then bring your chin to your chest. Lift your head, lift your upper spine, and lower it. Again, this is a gentle movement. Nod the chin, lift the head, lift the upper spine, and lower. You should feel your abdominals engage, but today that's not really our focus for now. Notice that as you peel your head off, it affects your neck spine, your upper spine. Or you could think of it from the other direction. As you begin to lift your upper spine, try to keep your head and neck in alignment as they come with the spine. Hug the knees to the chest, rock up to a seated position, and come onto all fours. Let's change directions here. Come into a neutral spine, which means your spine is comfortable and your center just feels supportive. You're gonna to begin to shift your tailbone left and right like a dog wagging its tail. Keep it small. It's a swivel. And notice if you have limitations from one side to the other. Just notice. And then keep moving on. So as you wag your tail left and right, your lower spine shifts side to side. And if you exaggerate that a little more, it now affects your rib cage, your middle spine, your upper spine. And then see if you can exaggerate it even more, thinking about moving your bones as it travels out through your neck and your head. Feel free to laugh at yourself. You might feel a little silly. And again, make it a wave action. And notice where you feel a little stiff. After this, sit back, take a child's pose, and rest your wrists. If this is not comfortable for you, just have a seat and wait until we move forward. Let's lower to our elbows and send one leg back and the other leg back to meet it so you come into a plank position. If this is not comfortable for you, stay on your knees. Now take some deep breaths as you simply hold your spine in good alignment from tail to head. Try not to honor the natural curves of your spine. You will feel your abdominals engage and maybe your hips, thighs, and seat. Sit back. Again, take a deep breath and rest your body. We're going to do the same thing, but now to the side. So we're working what we call stability. Bend the bottom knee, bend your bottom elbow, and lift the hips up. The top leg is straight. To challenge it, you can send your bottom leg out so it's straight as well. Take a few deep breaths here as you try to hold your spine in good alignment from tail to head. 
So the vertebrae are stacked nicely on top of one another. Feel free to do that a few times. So just pause the video. Or we just switch sides. Bend your bottom knee, place your bottom elbow underneath you, lift your hips, and take a few deep breaths as you try to hold a strong, steady spine. Send your bottom leg out for a challenge. Think about both sides of your waist coming in like an hourglass to support this. And then lower the hips gently down. Again, feel free to do that a couple more times to build some endurance. But for today, we move on. Come lying on your back for a roll up. Now roll up is about mobility. So lift the head, peel the spine up bone by bone and round gently forward. Pull your spine back and lower with control. Feel free to tuck your feet under a couch or bed. And your knees can also be slightly bent as well. Now keep the spine moving, so you're moving piece by piece, segment by segment. Noticing that the spine is a column that works together, but also a column that works in flexible pieces. Inhaling and exhaling, and then bring your arms by your sides to move into shoulder bridge. Walk your feet into your sits bones, lift your hips up, find neutral spine, shoulders are open. Lower the spine bone by bone. Lift the hips up and try to find that stability again. And then articulate, moving piece by piece. Keep going a few more times. Inhale to lift and exhale to lower. And think of massaging the spaces in between your vertebrae. Really trying to wake up the spine here and notice where you feel a little stiff. Just notice. And then hug the knees to your chest and come up to a seated position. Come so sitting on your left hip for a mermaid. So bring the left arm up by your ear, hold on to your right leg and bend over your legs. As you come up, lower to your opposite elbow, bring the top arm overhead. Up over the leg, up, out the opposite elbow, and arc the spine. So again, we're looking for mobility here, moving piece by piece, but now in an action left and right. Gentle breaths here, three to five, more if you feel it's necessary, simply pause the video. Switch sides, right arms up, left hand holding onto the shins, and again, moving side to side. Bend over the legs, and then lower to your opposite elbow, arcing the spine, big full breaths here. Three to five. Come back to center with your mind's eye on your spine. Great job. So there's some basic movements for the spine. And consider the spine the axis of the body. But it's more than that, it's structure, it's also fluid, it's also a, a strong line of communication for our nerves, our circulation, and our weight. So what we wanna do is we wanna keep our spine really healthy. And so we're doing a pre-Pilates workout to teach the spine where it has the options to go. And Joseph Pleasure is a true believer that the more you massage the spine, the more healthy it can be. So you're only as old as your spine is healthy and flexible. So our goal through this pre-Pilates video is to get your spine to be more resilient, more flexible, more stable, more fluid, and more healthy before you actually even begin the classical Pilates exercises. Thanks for joining us today.